Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, quick tutorials to help you get started using DevExpress controls. In this video, we'll look at how to use our XPO Data Model Designer in XAF applications. We'll create a simple business model consisting of two objects, employee and task. These objects will be linked with a one-to-many relationship. Then we'll add XAF specific attributes in code and take a look at the app created. Please note that you must have Visual Studio 2010 or later installed to use the XPO Data Model Designer. Let's start by creating a new XAF solution using the cross-platform template provided in the startup window. Right-click the Business Objects folder located in the Module Project and choose Add New Item. Then select the DXperience ORM 12.1 Data Model Wizard template. Set the new item's name to MySolutionDataModel.XPO and click Add. You'll see that the MySolutionDataModel.XPO item is added and the wizard dialog is invoked. Here, let's click Cancel to skip the wizard because our database connection is managed by XAF in this solution. An empty data model appears in the designer. Let's design our employee object first. We'll add a new business class by dragging the XP object item from the toolbox. Select it and in the properties window, set the object's name to employee. Now let's add a new persistent property by dragging the field item from the toolbox onto our employee object. Select the field and in the properties window, set the field's name to first name. Note that the column type is string by default. We'll repeat these steps and add the last name property. Next, we'll add a field that has a property type different from string. Let's add a birthday field and set its column type to date time. Now we'll add a calculated field. Drag the persistent alias item from the toolbox and place it on our employee object. Select the persistent alias and in the properties window, let's set name to full name. Then click on the expression ellipsis and our expression editor opens up. Here, we'll click on the field section and choose the first name and last name and complete our expression. Click OK to finish the editor. Now let's design the task object. To do this, let's add another business class by dragging the XP object from the toolbox onto our surface. Select it and in the properties window, set the object's name to task. Add the subject and description persistent properties of string type in the same manner as we did with our employee object. Now let's look at how to apply attributes in persistent properties. Select the description field. In the properties window, expand the DB type category and set the size to unlimited. As a result, the size attribute will be applied to the description property in the underlying code. The attributes parameter will be set to size attribute dot unlimited. Now we'll add a one to many association. To do this, We'll first add the assigned to persistent property of the employee type to the task class. This property will represent the one part of the one-to-many association. In the toolbox, select the association object item and draw a line from employee to task to create the association. Let's save the changes and close the designer. We'll now add XAF specific attributes in code. In the Solution Explorer, expand the Business Objects My Solution Data Model Code folder. This folder contains the code generated by the designer. Open the employee.cs or employee.vb file. Decorate the employee class with the default class options and image name attributes for the employee object. As a result, the employee object will be added to the navigation and an icon from the built-in library will be associated with this object. Please note, you can add more custom code to the auto-generated classes, for example, overriding base class methods. But don't change code located in files with the designer suffix. They contain designer-generated code and shouldn't be modified manually. The generated classes are declared as partial. Designed and custom class parts are located in different files. Now, we can run both applications to see our results. Let's look at our Windows Form app. 
These are the list and detail views that are generated for the employee and task objects. As you can see, both of our apps are fully based on the business model specified in the XPO Data Model Designer. And now, our web-based app. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.